and good morning from the beautiful forest in Via Francicina in Tuscany, Italy. The night was very calm, only the deers were coming to visit us. But for some reason we didn't sleep very well. Right now we are feeling a bit sleepy. Today we want to do another 17 kilometers and getting closer to the city of Siena. But not too close, obviously, because we want to find some camp spot for tonight, another wild camp spot. Hopefully we have enough shadow for today to walk this distance. We're excited to discover what this day brings to us. Let's get out on the trail! Just wanted to show you real quick a very interesting thing that we found here at our camp spot yesterday and today. We have found lots and lots of shells on the ground, like small, some of them bigger, some of them smaller. And they can be quite hard to see because they form the ground and basically in some of the rocks they are engraved as you can see here. And it seems like even the rock made out of the shells entirely, like the smashed shells together and like this one for example. You can see here there are smaller shells and this is astonishing for us to think that for millions of years it has been conserved here and it didn't disappear anywhere like even the Romans probably have seen all the shells and they still conserved or maybe it hasn't been so long ago since the ocean have gone away from these places it's so interesting if you know any information about it let us know in the comments we're definitely curious and interested to know more about this This is where we're coming from every time from our secluded camp spots. <laughs> we have to go through the bushes in the forest. Looking at the weather forecast for today, we've seen that the temperature can go up to 37 degrees Celsius, which is crazy hot. And there was a red sun sign, which, which means obviously a hot sun. Even now in the morning we are working in the open field and feel the heat already. And in front of us we see the mountains, which would probably go over today. And yeah, just hoping for the forest path, because if not, that would be impossible. Well, lots of fun is guaranteed today. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now we've ran out of the drinking water and we're searching for the water sources. And in the several kilometers in the distance there is no any. And we feel like this is not enough of them because it is a simple tap water. There could be more water fountains on the way. It would be so simple to install, especially in such heat so important. You have to walk more, find water. Almost at the middle point of our trail for today, and for now the trail hasn't been merciful to us at all. Deliberately burning our heads with the direct sunlight, almost no shadow. So it's quite an opposite day compared to yesterday when we walked almost all day long in the forest, and it was so great. And we already miss it a lot because the fields are so bad to walk in the middle of the day in the summer. The heat. Today we've got our solar battery system all set up and so far we haven't regretted been taking it like extra weight it's been working just fine and charging all of our electronics which is very important to us obviously it works better with the power bank and then we can charge all electronics directly from it but in a couple of hours it is all charged and just a great useful tool overall to have we're very happy about it We just passed through another touristic village, Castle of Monteriggioni, and it's very similar to San Gimignano, where we were just a day ago, with lots of shops and souvenirs, but there is no shop where you can buy food. Yeah, and it's ridiculously easy it would be to have a small little place where you can where you can buy fruit or veggies, but there isn't just any. And we see that there is a big supermarket in 2.5 kilometers, and they could do at least like a small place where you could buy it. And for hikers like us, it's super important because 2.5 kilometers is a possible distance to go away from B and then back. And we need somewhere to buy food, and there is just no place, and everything is so ridiculously expensive. And that's why we hate such places, to be honest with you. They would be cute and curious to see, like very old medieval towns, that's all great history, but this concept of touristic places just sucks. Let us know if you are the same. For now we want to do another 6 to 7 kilometers further on the Via Francicina and then stop somewhere in 10 kilometers until the city, Siena, to search for the camp spot. And we think that it would be enough for today and we hope that there will be possibilities to camp, some secluded spots in the forest or in the fields.
this is our reaction for the uphill in the sun. <laughs> no way you don't want to do it <laughs> right now. Thanks a lot for watching, hope you enjoyed this hiking trip. If so, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more hiking adventures. Don't forget to hit the bell to stay notified about every new video. Visit our website walkingnatureworld.com to find detailed hike reports with pictures and maps. Hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you very soon!